great. Our last example, example number six, I would say like this is kind of like the best design for flexibility. Um, there's there's more ways you can do it. This is just five different or six different ways that I have decided how we can go about writing up code to do this Morris uh, code example. So let's look at our code. The change I'm going to do is we keep talking about flexibility. We might need to change the wires. How can we make that easier? We might need to add in you know, new numbers to show on the student ID, how we did that to make it easier. So the last example I do is I look at what right now I did all the Morris code for numbers. What happens in the future if we need to add in letters? How are we going to make it a lot easier to do? So the way I did this is I here have another array called M code for Morris code, Mor Morris code. And this is a two dimensional array. So every, here's the 10, that's going to make me 10 rows in this array. And every row is a number. So this is for number zero, you know, number three here, number nine. And then inside the row are five columns. And those five columns are the dots and the dashes. So I, I use a dot to be a zero and a dash to be a one. So zero is dash, 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 dash. Uh, a seven is dash, dash, zero, uh, dot, dot, dot. So later, if I needed to add in like a letter A, I, I can add a new row and then I can put in what's the flashing of that um, A the B, the C. Later, you may need to add more information except zero and one, because um, here we use all the combinations. You know, if we did an A, and A actually uses less than um, five uh, lights or, or five dots and dashes. So we would probably need to make a little bit of modification, but this is gonna allow it to be a little bit easier for us to do. The big part that's gonna change really is you know, how we write a dot is the same, how we write a dash is the same, but I removed all the functions to do the individual uh, numbers. So I do not need a function to say, this is how you do a zero. A function to say, this is how I'm gonna do a one. How do I know how to make a zero and a, a one? It's based off of what's inside this to the array. This is how I do a zero. It's dash, 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 the one, 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 one. So I only have two functions to flashlights, a dot and a dash. And then if I go down into the main loop here, you see that I'm gonna have a for loop so I can go through all five entries. And then I look at the row, I look at the column, if it's a zero, flash a dot. Else, if it's a one, flash a dash. And then once I do that, it's actually very simple that we can go through and we can generate all of those flashing items we used to have as a function. So to do the zero, it would read zero for the first entry, display a dash. Read a zero for the second one, do a dash. Read for the third one, do a dash. Ready for the fourth one, do a dash. And this is gonna allow you know, for that full flexibility. If we again look at the how much code this took, now we're at the final example I did, 115 lines. Remember, there's still a lot of, of white space, a lot of comments. If we're to take those out, this is gonna decrease quite a bit. You know, 115, our very first one where we thought we we're gonna save space by not having any comments, not having any white space. 254, right? A lot of times as you write code, you get better and better at it. You'll see new ways on how you can reduce the amount of code you, you have. Um, don't have that being the driving principle that you're aiming for. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much code you have as long as what it is you're designing is actually gonna work. The, the way you get from example one all the way to example six, Anywhere in between where you decide that ends up on how you decide to write code, it's just going to be that more modifications when you need to make a change you're going to have to do. To make a change in example number one, 
you know, you're going to have to edit the number of spots. You see example number six, example number five, any change you really wanted to make, likely it's just a few variables at the very top. Here, if I needed to change the zero to be uh, dot, 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 dash, dash, easy change to do. If I needed to change the student ID, easy change to do. All right, so I'm giving you a few tips. Hopefully this gives you an idea on how to start um, setting up your code. The, the more you do, the, the biggest thing I would say taking out of this example is even if you're still always gonna stay as a beginner programmer, example number one, make it very easy for you to work in your group, have comments, have variable names that have some type of meaning. Don't just do int A and B and C, give it a name. As many letters as you want, it doesn't add any extra space that's going to be taken up in your Arduino uh, program, the memory, it, it all is the same. All right, well, I hope this helps you. Good luck in writing you know, your robot that you're going to be doing for your competition.